is going on everybody? Today we are back at the Everglades and uh, we are going to be trying to catch some uh, snook, tarpon, uh, peacock bass. Uh, we're going to keep trying to get those three fish. Um, but anyway, we're trying a different method today. We have some live shrimp behind us. We're going to go down to these bridges and cast them underneath the bridge. And supposedly they're a really good snook bait from what I've uh, heard and seen. But anyway, let's get out there and get to it. Alright, let's see how this guy does. Alright, we're just freelining them. And uh, we're just waiting for a hit. Alright, guys, well, I'm back in my car now. I'm just trying to figure out what I should do now. Because, I mean,. It just doesn't seem like the fish are biting. <laughs> and I was looking at the tide chart and you know, the high tide is actually gonna be in three hours. So that means there's gonna be the most water in here. And you know, there's probably gonna be a lot of fish. So I don't know, because you know, I was originally gonna go to the middle of the Everglades again and try to do some peacock bass fishing. But you know, this, to go out there and then come back, I mean, the time I get there and come back, it's already gonna be three o'clock anyway, where I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm actually going to go to Everglades City and we're going to fish from there a little bit. Like there's a fishing spot I found uh, the other day while I was there. Then eat, then maybe get some more bait. I was thinking about getting some worms because, you know, I did some research in these tilapia or Mayan cichlid oscars, whatever, the, whatever in the world they are. Um, they will go after worms. So I'm thinking, you know, we're going to go and fish at one spot in the Everglades City, eat lunch, get some worms, and then come back and start going back and forth again with these uh, roadside spots, because we've got to get a good fish today. So anyway, I'm about to drive to Everglades City. See you there. All right, guys, well, we're going to another spot. It's down here. Um, we're just gonna explore it a little bit with just the fluke, and then if we see anything, you know, we'll grab some more stuff as we need it. I'm just surprised we haven't caught like anything. This is just like crazy. Because like I said earlier, it's like, you know, I watch all these people come out here and do this and they catch like tons of fish. And it's like, I'm trying to do it, but it's like, why can't I catch a single fish? Like I'm doing exactly what they do. That's the crazy thing. Guys, you want to talk about some irony? Uh, my GoPro just died as I was reeling in a uh, lure and a tarpon grabbed it. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go. Seated. Oh man, that was, I'm so sorry you guys didn't see that. Literally, I was, I was reeling it in and then the GoPro died and then the tarpon hit it. But that was an amazing fight, guys. I'm sorry you guys did not get to witness that. Oh my goodness, that was the biggest tarpon ever. Or not ever, but you know what I mean? For me, biggest tarpon ever. Uh, I gotta rearrange these hooks a little bit uh, because that tarpon pulled it out a little bit. That was awesome. Can't believe I actually caught him. Guys, you don't understand. I'll show you guys up here, but he was caught in mangrove brush. And uh, he just, uh, I just was able to barely get him in. All right, let's see if we can get another one. That was crazy. I'm sorry you guys didn't see that. All right, guys, so this is where it happened. He got tangled and all that stuff. I had to, like, jump down near the water and untangle him. God. But, guys, I'm so sorry. Like, the battery had, like, literally just died, and then my rod just bent. 
That's crazy. Well, that made the trip right there. All right, I got. I know you guys are gonna say in the comments, oh, you, you know, you can't, shouldn't let the fish uh, get dirty. And I know, but you guys see where I'm fishing, right? Like, there is nowhere good to like put them while I was trying to figure out everything because I was not expecting that. Um, you know, I didn't mean to get them that dirty. You know, it's just sometimes it happens, guys. But that fish made the trip, guys. That <laughs> that was awesome. And like I said, or like I mentioned earlier, this is my last day going to fish in Everglades. So um, that really made it worth it. <laughs> That's crazy because I thought it was a gar at first <laughs> until I pulled him up like right here. And I was like, oh, shoot, that's a tarpon. There we go. Oh, what's that? That was a fish. Someone went after it. Might have been a tarpon. All right, guys. So well, I am back in my car now. Now there's uh, no more fish for today. Now I know we only caught one fish today, and you know, typically I like to put you know like five or six fish in a video. Now the reason I decided to you know make this all into one video was because you know I just want to show you guys how like hard it is. It's not easy doing this. This is actually a lot hard. It's harder than I thought it would be. Because, you know, I watch people who come and do this all the time, they know what they're doing, and, you know, they catch fish. But me, I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, it just felt so good to get that tarpon at the end of the day. You know, I, I'm i sorry you guys didn't see it. Um, but, you know, it just felt so great. But anyway, tomorrow we are going to be going to Naples City Pier. And that will be my last day of this trip. And uh, we are going to try to get some sort of edible fish. We are going, we're going to try to do a catch and cook. Um, so anyway, that will be next week. See you then.